Okay, I think we got the install done. This was a chore. This took three three Fridays of about four or five hours each Friday morning. And it's hot here in Phoenix, so it uh, wasn't easy. But uh, we're going to start with the battery here. And we'll show it what we have. And I stuck with the original battery wiring to hook this into. I was looking at the 12 volt wiring system in here and they've got stuff going all over the place. So we have a 40, we have a six gauge wire going out to this 40 amp fuse that goes to the switch. This 10 gauge wire, I'll show you where it goes. It goes down to a bunch of wires that were always connected, always had 12 volt power. And I'll show you that in a second. So those wires come down here. Here's the ground for the battery. I don't know if you can see this very good. This is the ground for the inverter. And I don't know what this ground goes to. But this is where the original solar came to. This is a positive. And then it went out here on the battery tr tray here to the positive on the battery. So there was always 12 volts to this. And if you look here, there's a few wires here that are always connected. And there's some fuses here. And I didn't want to dig into that. So that's what that 10 gauge wire goes to. It goes to right here. So I left that the same. Here's my six gauge wire. I ran it up there and then down to here. And then this is where it went out to the battery tray to the positive. Now all that goes to is the emergency brake and the power jack up there. And then it goes into this box and it just forks off everywhere. That's why I didn't want to change anything. And inside here is the original switch. So this will still work uh, to here. But these things out on the tongue will still have power. And uh, so this cuts off most of the 12 volts in the trailer, almost all of it. I know there's a few things that are left on all the time. The emergency brake. And uh, I know the tire link. I don't have a hook, uh, the, uh, the face plate in there. But the, that's uh, 12 volts all the time. And I believe on the slide, it's powered all the time to keep the brakes on so that it doesn't slide out. Now, the motors won't work. If you try to retract or put it out with the battery off, it's not going to work. But it does have a separate 12 volt uh, power to keep it locked into place so it doesn't slide around in case you tow it without a battery or tow it with the uh, switch off. So. All right, so that was the 12 volt system. And then we have the solar. And here's the solar that came in from the roof. I have it running up to this switch here. Negative here, positive for the switch. Okay, so I ran, and I'll show it in a second, another SAE plug underneath the trailer so I can plug a portable panel in. And I'll show that later too. So I wired these in both on the switch, so I can turn the solar completely off. This goes to the controller, ran that over here, to the solar controller, both positive and negative go to the controller right here. Let's see if we can see that a little better. And then out from there, to a 30 amp fuse, because I have a 30 amp controller. So there's the 30 amp fuse, and then over to the battery. So that's the solar. Solar comes in here, 10 gauge wire, battery six gauge wire that goes over here to this bottom switch, like I just showed. That goes through a 40 amp fuse right here. Now the original battery out on the tray out there did not have a fuse, but I went ahead and put this in. And we have six gauge going down to the battery or to the connection that I just showed. And then from there it goes to eight gauge. So then there's the inverter. Okay. The inverter is pretty simple. Got the positive and negative to the battery. This is a 200 amp terminal block fuse here. I've got another video 
video on this battery and the inverter at home when I was testing it. So that's the only thing going to the 200 amp fuse. But the rest, the rest has this 40 amp fuse here. Okay, so the inverter, here's my two inputs. One comes from the main panel, goes to the transfer switch. The inverter goes out here, goes to the transfer switch, and then it goes back out to the inverter sub-panel that I'll show. Okay, so here's the uh, inverter circuit breaker. It's a 20 amp circuit breaker, and I ran 12.2 Romex. It goes from here out to that transfer switch, and the inverter goes to the transfer switch, and then from the transfer switch over to this, which one's the microwave and all of my outlets. So that's how that works. Uh, this transfer switch, how this works, is when I have short power, it's on all the time. Even if this is on, it's going to favor the shore power. When I'm not hooked up to anything, the inverter, this will switch over to the inverter and run my outlets and my microwave. And I think that covers it in here. Let's go run a test on the microwave and we'll see how that goes. I could run a little uh, test here with my circuit check and the inverter is on. I'm not hooked up to power outside, so we're running off the battery. That shows good. And this half of the trailer on this side and that outlet is all on one line, including this TV. And then in the bathroom, these are on a separate circuit. And we'll see how that looks. And that's good. So we got the two lights. This is a handy thing to have. You see the two lights means uh, correct wiring. So I did something right. And you can see the microwave is on. Let's try it out. And this is the first test. Got a glass of water here. We'll try that out, see what happens. Ah, it's not going to fit. All right, we got the right size glass full of water. Let's see if we can get this to go. Start. There it goes. Like my bandana? It is so hot. I'm so sweaty. So that works okay? I'm not going to let that run very long. It's already hot. This is a pretty powerful microwave. I thought I looked it up. I think it was close to 1500 watts, I think. This is how I ran the remote switch temporarily. I just put it in the drawer in here. Um, I just ran it down in there. You can't see in there. But uh, there's a crack in there. I don't know if that's focusing. But, uh, so temporarily, I just put it there. I will put it down here in this area over here. So here's the uh, where the wires come down out of the trailer. They did put a they did put a post in there, a tube that you can run your wires in. And uh, see if I can show it here. It's over here on this side. There's the SAE plug. Then I'm going to plug my solar panel in. And then that just goes up there to that switch so I can switch everything off. And I got my flashlight now so you can see my wiring I got down there. Here's the extra solar panel I got. This is a Renogy 175 watt 12 volt uh, solar panel. And I think it pretty much matches the one I have on top of my trailer. That's a Jaboni 175 watt. I think. I think Jaboni made is just copies from uh, Renogy. At least their solar controller and their panel look exactly like Renogy. Uh, anyway, this is I'm going to use this as a portable panel that I'll plug into that plug that I showed on the bottom of the RV. And uh, I bought this 10 foot extension with MC4 connectors on it. And then it uh, I spliced in right there to this uh, SAE that'll plug into the RV. And uh, So you can see, it says 19.9, was 20.8 a second ago. 
So here's some little stands I made. And uh, this is just some stuff I had laying around. It's that angle steel that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. And then I just notched it up there. And it fits in these notches on the solar panel right there. It just fits in there so it won't slide out. And then you can adjust it whatever angle you want. There you go, you can see that little notch right there. So I think that'll work good, cheap and uh, easy to do. I think this will work good. The 275s will have uh, 350 watts and uh, this will eventually go on the roof. That's my project in the future. I'll buy another one. So I'll have 375 watts on the top. And what's holding me back now, of course, is I've got so much invested in this inverter and battery. But I'll probably do this maybe next year or the year after. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how it works. And uh, then I'll have to upgrade my solar controller. And that's why I left a little bit of slack in that wire. Anyway, that's the solar panel I got. So I think that's going to finish it up for my video. I think this is going to work good. Um, I haven't had a big chance to test it, and that's going to be in the future. I'll make some more videos of how all this works, and uh, we'll button all this up. All right, that's going to do it. I got it back in place, and uh, I turned the battery off. I'll leave the solar on, but there's no solar because I'm in covered storage. And uh, I didn't get my finger in the way there. But anyway, everybody take it easy.